Hey everybody, it's your boy Too Cool and we depend it. As you can see the background fire on, I mean something's happening. Before we get into what we're doing today, I would like to first um, say congratulations to the Jamaica Talwa for being the 2022 CPL champion. Again, if it's not ratri, we're fasting, so we're not dealing with meat. And again, I would like to say in advance, happy Human Nabi to all my Muslim brothers and sisters next week. It's Yuma Nabi, we're getting the Monday off. I will not be fasting, so you know, your boy will be suki suki in, in this backyard. Today we've uh, been privileged. We are accompanied by some special guests. We're gonna go around. We're gonna um, ask them their names and where they're from and what is the purpose of being here today. So we're gonna start from this end. Um, hey. My good friend here. What's your name, sir? So I'm Rupari Sharan, and many of you guys know me from the Legend Cook House, Legend Cook House in Queens, and the Legend Resto and Lounge out in Orlando. And we were privileged as well to be here and to be in the company of two cool and two cool girls who will be showing us how they're cooking and how they are entertaining their fans on YouTube. And with me here today, I have my lovely wife, Sati Harisharan, and she Hello. is going to be, she's a girl not with many awards, but a lot of action. So she's gonna I be very active gotta, today. I just gotta keep the, the, the uh, weapons away from her. Keep the weapons away. She just don't make too much noise. She just make her and this we, pleasure known. <laughs> <laughs> we are also privileged with this gentleman. Can you identify yourself, sir? I'm Raj. I'm a relative of the legend of Legend Cookhouse, Roop. Uh, Roop Narayan Harichiran. So that's Raj Harichiran? Yes, Raj. So, um, what are you having in your glass? Your lemonade, sir? Yeah, something to cool us down. Yeah, you're having know? some suki suki, yes, right? Yes. So, yes. the guys are drinking banks and that. giving thanks. What's your name, sir? Krishna. You're what? I am Krishna Hari Prasad. I'm Sati's. Brother, brother, great. Group, group brother. Toronto. I'm all the way from Toronto. Nice. Yeah, I'm nice. here to do, do the tasting. Do the, you're here <laughs> for I'm tasting. Guy, I'll, I'll be doing the tasting. Yeah. And my friend there, uh, Bitchai, he also is here with us. What's your name, sir? Mr. Sunil, our very own Mr. Sunil is here, all right? Sunil so is the taxi man. A well, quick a very reliable taxi guy. Very reliable. We have chosen to take us around, and he has been doing a wonderful job. We feel very safe, very secure you to be traveling with him, and he's very much an excellent, safe driver because, you know, knowing all this chaos that is happening on the road, we really appreciate finding a guy who could have really bring us around safely and we have that safe mental you know we kind of feel very safe and we go to our destination in a little in a major stress-free kind of way so let's big up to Sunil. Big up Sunil. So any take on, on um, recommending um, persons live overseas um, to come visit Guyana, um, do you think there's a lot to look forward here as in the culture, food, places to go, things to do? What is your personal take on it? Look, I am from Guyana and um, it's always, to me, it's always been a trying moment here in Guyana to get to start at a level. And sometimes when we come from overseas, or, and because we have been living there for many, many, many years, and we kind of get consumed with that culture, and that scenery when we come here sometimes a lot of times uh, it kind of bring disappointment in a lot of ways but um, for this time that I'm here I'm not looking um, in the direction of of the buildings and the nice houses and stuff like that I am looking basically as a business business leader or business professional I want to see what the business are looking like, what the business are aspiring to. I want to see that these people are, are, are building for a long term. You know, I don't want, uh, you know, sometimes when I come in the past, I would see them just there to make income for that particular period of time and trying to find a way out. Uh, but I'm not hearing that this time. You're not hearing that. Uh, but when I go to places, I can see that long-term building. I can see you know, I go to restaurants and people are looking at their business for 
stability. They're looking for, at their business to create longevity. They're looking to maintain their customer base here. They're looking to attract customer to their business. They're building it so that people can come and be proud to know that they can come and enjoy their vacation, their stay. And of course, it's encouraging people to remigrate if they kind of feel that's their thing. You know, so that's my take on, I can say everything is perfect. Well and, said. And nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. And I don't believe in it and perfection Amazing. anywhere. Amazing. You know. Amazing. So. so we got we fire on standby here. We're going to tell you guys what we are doing in a few and we're going to get into it. All right, guys. So what we are doing today, guys, these guys are here in our backyard because basically we are doing chow mein. Well, also you guys know it's Navratri, we're fasting. So it's veggie chow mein we have on standby. We have some um, fresh uh, corn, sweet pepper, bora, um, screenwriter, director, producer, gone some with some fresh shallot, celery, etc. So this gentleman is going to explain something. He's going to do something different today. We're, we're using this as a normal thing we use in our chow mein, like our chow mein uh, seasoning, our pak seasoning, our Chinese sauce. But he's going to do it differently. So we're not going to use this stuff today. We're going to try his way and his seasoning and we're gonna do a taste test and we're gonna certify mm. it today. So where you can tell me a bit about your stuff that you're gonna use, please. So what we have here is the sauce is that, first of all, let me tell you um, about us here. We are a restaurateur in New York and we've been doing this for 20 years. A lot of times when people would, or customers would come to the restaurant and they would ask, hey man, how do you make this food? And then, of course, it's a business, so we kind of keep it secret. We never want to say how we do it because we're looking for the customer. And then the pandemic strike, and we said, hey, we have to, you know, and a lot of people are doing cooking and they're doing stuff at home. So we say, hey, we want to enhance what they're doing at home. Now we're going to give them the secret. And we, we definitely develop this sauce and we develop the packaging and uh, we are manufacturing, marketing, and we are distributing this product to everyone we can uh, reach. Um, we start. We are starting out in New York City. We are starting out in the Queens area, where, um, of course, we are well known and people know our restaurant. So, let me tell you that this chow mein sauce, what it is. It, it's really a, a combination of many sauce with the right proportion, right? So you don't no longer has to have to go and say, hey man, you know, I'm gonna make some chow mein, but I have to get a multiple other product to Fuck. make my chow mein right. taste good. And then a lot of times, we, we sometimes, in error, we would put too much of one thing, too much of another thing, and we look for something that we don't have, and then we're not completely satisfied with what we're, we're out of it it's yeah. not in the house yes it's unavailable yeah but you're telling me this thing just you have everything in there you don't need a five six packaging no one one thing. thing in a bottle and this thing this sauce here you it is so it is designed in such a way that you don't have to guess our sauces are foolproof so you can just boil your chow mein that we are going to start doing in a moment. And once your chow mein is boiled, strained and cooled for a little bit, all you have to do is to pour this sauce onto your food or into your chow mein. And once you have that right color, the color that you like, your headache is done. You don't even have to add salt. You don't have to add any other ingredients. All you will have to do is to put the optional vegetables that you like into your food can you um tell me something off the bat so you don't have or you don't recommend that you have a measurement that okay four teaspoon to one pack of chow mein or five teaspoon to one pack of chow mein it, it doesn't work that way with this well no no i'm work. going to tell you simply get your chow mein in a bowl or your fried rice right mm -hmm. Pour this magic onto it, stir it up for a little bit, and I guarantee you'll get the right taste and the right color and the right presentation for your food. And absolutely positive, this has been 
tested over and over to get it so that we can have easy, simple, and quick cooking. Another right? question off the bat. Is it 100% vegetarian? All the sauces, nothing that I know here is what is not vegetarian in okay. that sense. Um, it's all a bunch of sauce that's already been used, normally been used in, it's not a secret. It's not a it's secret. A, it's a combination of sauce. It's not anything that we just... So it's recommended for yeah, vegetarians I mean, too. If you use it, if you're comfortable using these bad boys, mm -hmm. right? And you're using these bad boys and some other stuff, you're not gonna miss it. We get like, this thing get about 10 pieces of different product in it at the right portion. I'm not gonna describe it for what we put, but um, we, we, we practice this for years at the restaurant and um, and many would know that we have mastered that part of cooking, you know, in, in serving the Guyanese style. It's sweet pepper like you come from America, boy. And that is, <laughs> and that is optional. Yeah, All everything here is optional. Optional. If you want to have chow mein and, and beer sauce, you have chow mein yeah. and beer sauce. I mean, mm -hmm. I know a lot of kids, they would say, I don't want vegetables in my chow mein. Correct. Or they, when you get a chow mein with vegetables, just pick it out. But now you have that option to just cook it. All right. The way your kids want. We're going to get straight into the cooking part yeah, now, yeah. my friend. You want to try putting the canary on the, on the fire? Yes. There we go. So now, you know, we verify that you're a chef. You can, you can handle yourself. <laughs> and someone can handle <laughs> curry. The black pot canary on the boy. Yeah, man. The black pot canary on. And stove, right? Yes, it's the original stove. And it's authentic to the original style of cooking all over the world. Right. And I'll tell you one thing. Though America and, and North America, which is our, which are developing country or developed country, and we went there and we went there and we're using stove the stove of today is not the stove of yesterday. The stove are, are getting the more technically yes, advanced. Yes, yes. But this bad guy is giving you the same exact... Flavor to the bone. Flavor. <laughs> and it's giving you the same exact ability to cook. And less complication. I'll tell you one thing. If you have a blackout, you need this guy here. Yes. Because most if definitely. you don't have current for those electronic... Or if you run out of gas. Yes. Yeah, you know, that, that is not nice to say. <laughs> <laughs> Getting straight into it, uh, the canary is on on the fire. The guy is um, preparing his chow mein here. So, remember, you can use your favorite brand. Yeah. We're not going to tell chow you what brand, brand doesn't matter, to yes. use. Um, is there any MSG in this? By chance, you, you, you can recall. I would be able to tell which, by using the other sauce. I'm not going to pouch. I that, think uh, monosodium but, yeah, yeah. Uh, glutamate is MSG, so, yeah, so I'm happy. I'm very happy that so, it is in. Yeah, so a lot of stuff is in there that come from other yeah. products, you know? Um, are we going to do two or one? You can do all three, yeah. my friend. I'm so, hungry today, you know, very hungry. Yeah. And I'm looking forward for the sauce. Two, two swine? Two swine. Great, great. All right, so we're going to do two packs. And, and it really doesn't matter what, how many packs you do you because of the fact that we're doing a, this thing works with color, right? Color. In Guyana, we just wash with chow mein before we throw it in, you know. So, <laughs> I have a habit of wash it with hot water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do? Wash your chow mein? No, we don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. And you gotta throw some over your head for good luck. <laughs> so, the water has come to a boil, and Boss Lady has just put a bit of salt. And she's adding some oil. So this is how our uh, kanakahari looking, guys. Our fire is not behaving today at all. Maybe because I'm not taking any suki suki. So today we're using um, lamb chow mein, I think. Our very own Guyanese chow mein. So we're doing two packs. One in. Two in. This is a perfect meal for fasting, especially with the added vegetables to give you that extra boost. Well, generally, guys, you know, I like my chow with plain rice. I have to get some plain rice. Let's see how that works out today. So, we're just chilling here, everybody, just in the backyard doing their own thing. 
socializing total strangers meeting up today and you see how life can be easy and full of joy look at this guy look at this. Look at this. <laughs> If you see the black one, you might fall in love more. Everybody loves the black one. Yeah, he's not allowed to fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> you got me suki suki here, of course I'm fasting. <laughs> nothing brings people nothing brings people closer like good food. Good food always bring people closer. So you try you, you cook together, you bond together, and you make good food. And you have a few drinks with good friends. That's all life is about. That is life is about. Right. Correct. It's all about the drinking. When the drink <laughs> yes. is finished, you don't know how the friends is gonna end, <laughs> uh, end up. <laughs> <laughs> so after we have our chow mein there boiling, now we are going to start doing the prep. And it's simple and easy. You just have to, like like we said before, you. You can cook any which way you want. You put any which vegetable that you prefer. Put any which meat you prefer. Um, and it's, you know, all we do is we provide the tools and this, which is the sauce that can make your cooking very simple and quick. And you can, and you know that you're gonna get the right texture taste every single time. So while that is, uh, that is um, getting cooked, Normally, what we will do at, at a restaurant, we will time it and we will say, okay, the chow mein must cook for six to seven minutes. And uh, we will just take it out at that point and uh, strain it. Um, you know, of course, we'll put some ice on it, put some oil onto it so that you keep it nice and loose. Put it aside. We generally don't cook the chow mein as soon as it's finished. But today we are going to do it a little different because we know that we are trying to do it the same exact way you do it right there at your home. So, first of all, he uh, he uh, Mr. Cool, too cool. He wants to use uh, these vegetables. So all we're going to do is to cut them up into a style. I like to cut my food into the shape of my food. Uh, you know. So if I'm going to uh, uh, put some chow mein into my um, some onions into my chow mein, I'm gonna cut it into a longish style and which is a julian style in the restaurant business, right? So I'm gonna show you, I already started but he said to wait and do it now. So I'm gonna start, so we kind of cut these onions together this way, right? And when you always be careful when you're dealing with sharp knives, you must you know, take your time or have some sort of skill. If you notice, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of knife skill because we do this all the time at the restaurant. I always try to cut away from my fingers and I, I use my finger as a guide to the size of the food I want. So I kind of brace the knife on my finger and then I use that to, but it, not, it is not going to come one, two, three, you just gotta practice, right? So I have the onions ready and then I'm going to cut the carrots, right? So I, I mean, I'm gonna cut this in a Julian style as well, right? Now, don't try to do this the same way I am doing it right now. What I would advise you to do is to make what they call like a foot so it can rest on, on the board so you don't drift and when it drifts it can cause you to cut your hands right so I'm gonna cut it in these in this style and then I'm gonna show you guys we might not be using all of this but it's up to oh it's a vegetable so you can cut it either way right so if I'm going to make like at the restaurant we'll make like a regular chow mein so I will make cut cut it this way right I'll make it into a julian style and I'll be able to put it into my food. And now if I'm going to be doing like a vegetable chow mein, then I'll cut it in two. So you got to bite to it, right? So you don't lost the vegetables. And, and vegetables are something that once it get to heat, it get very soggy. And in the restaurant business, we don't like our food to be soggy. We like that rich crunch. We feel that it, the crunch is not boring, right? So we try not to make our food boring. And so we kind of, 
and these are the things that are going to create that excitement in your food right so these are the ways several ways you can cook your chow mein and now we are going to use long beans as we call it in America but in Guyana we cook we call this bora so like I said before we like to have our vegetable in the shape of our food so what we do in this instant because the chow mein is a long food long skinny food we are going to make our vegetable long right so you see what we did here we made our vegetable in julienne style so we try to make everything if you are in a restaurant presentation is everything right so we cut close to this length if you are at the restaurant but believe me you can cut at any length if you are at home because it's your food you you do it the way you want right so we here we are and we're going to cut this long beans up and I think this is sufficient. We don't want to unless to cool one no, some no, more. No, 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 I'm going to have it your way. I want it, you you to cook it your way. Okay. So So this is the vegetables and now we are going to cut up the scallion, right? In in Guyana, I think they call it shallot. Shallot, correct? And um So this is really a garnish in our um for our pork, right? It has nothing to do with flavor of our food. So what we will do is to cut it at in a shape that can make our food look pretty uh, it makes our food look fresh because this is all green vegetables and green vegetables is going to always make your food look fresh so you don't want to overcook none of these bad boys because you want to make you want to have them nice and green into your food that makes it nice and fresh right so we are going to use this as a garnish as we already plate our food we can put this on top not necessarily mean you know you can't put it when you're cooking but what we do at the restaurant we would use it both ways. put some in the food while we're cooking and we definitely will have to have some what you know as we're plating the food pile so that it can pop right out because these things are going to make your food look nice right so i'm going to do it this way so i can have it on the food and, and the food must look great them that I have here for garnish right so and I can and then you, I mean you don't have to throw anything away you use as much as you can but because I'm going to use this as a garnish we're gonna cut it very small so that you know it looks like it's nice and fresh and and you can just put it on top of your food and so this is how we do it at the restaurant. We kind of chop it up like this. And Mr. Too Cool said that this is a very sharp knife and I like to work with very sharp knife. So now I can do my thing and don't worry that I'm not gonna be able to cut right through my food, right? So this is what I, I mean, we do this, I mean, they do this a lot at the restaurant. Um, and like I said, you can use any vegetable, any vegetable you wish to use on your food you can use it i don't know how to cool wants to use this but that uh, is that is very high all right it mm -hmm. our one in guyana here uh -huh. it is very very high so you go a little light on that okay so right? i like to chip these very small because we use something similar to this and it's called par parsley right and so, so this is what do you call this it's thyme celery we call celery. it celery here but uh -huh. it's very high in flavor so okay so yeah. we're not gonna put a lot that's um, okay one of the things you do in cooking you never get overpowered with right. one ingredient right you you want you, you one of the things we pride ourselves in doing a restaurant industry and I like to tell people don't let your customer identify your your, your ingredients. ingredients yeah if they identify your ingredients is something wrong personal favorite guys red onion mm -hmm. i love this i can eat it raw as it is yeah um you know can use both ways it can use as a garnish and it can be used as a cooking flavor for cooking flavor and um we will just now all these vegetables are just to make the food look good and in this reference the food look cool 
Right, it looked too cool. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, let's get. Uh, he, they want to use some of this green pepper, and we are going to use that as well. When we are at the restaurant, I like to cut it like this so I can get the seed out and then sometimes I shake it like that to get the extra seed out because you know we want to cook nice and pretty food and at the same time we do not want to waste our product as well so all of this can be used as well you know so we don't really waste anything it's just that we try to get this stuff and, and believe me or not some people like the, 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 the pepper seed, seed inside yeah. so I'm not going to knock you if you want to put the seed into your food that's, that's up to you right um, it's your food, you cook it the way you want. Some people, you don't have to do the same thing. They're not gonna make your food any more delicious or not delicious, right? I don't believe that. So now I'm going to fold this up and in, in these type of pepper, I like to cut them in the, in the wrong side because then I get a grip on it. If I put it here and, and then in some cases, these pepper are so thick and they're so slidey here, you can end up cutting your fingers, right? So I like to put them like this, and because my food is long and it's a chow mein, I'm going to make julian slice, right? Another way I would use this pepper, I would go and I would dice it, right? Like I did with these onions, I dice it as well. So I can go and I dice it nicely, but I'm gonna use this diced onion, uh, this diced pepper to create my base and flavor of my food, right? And, that way, and that's what we're trying to achieve, right? And it's right? very fresh and it's uh, garden nice and grown. Crunchy. Yeah, you, you feel the crunch, right? Yeah, um, definitely. So Aggie. I'm gonna cut up a few of them so that we can start the cooking. And I believe our chow mein should be ready. In the restaurant industry, we try to cook it for about seven minutes because we want you think it's finished? It's finished. Definitely finished. Um, now, yes. but I'll look for the fine, for a fine dot of grain inside. So I break it in two and I'll get to that. And I know this is definitely done. So you... um, just in case, for just in case, a few persons see this video, they want to hold you accountable. They want to try your sauce. Where can they find this sauce? So this sauce is, this sauce is all over Queens. Our restaurant is right there in Queens. You don't have to go to another somewhere to find us. We're right there, 135, 11, or Rockaway Boulevard, Legend Cookhouse. And you can find us there. You can, you can find the sauce there. And you can come there and you can see us. I hope you there's no complaint, but if you have something to say to us, by all means, we're there to help you and we can show you how to use this, this product individually and you know for the month of november uh -huh. use too cool uh verification and you get a two percent off that's right come to the store and say too cool and you get a two percent off your sauce now just because it's too cool you'll give it ten percent off ten percent off the sauce <laughs> but you gotta and if you come to legend cookhouse restaurant if you buy one we'll give you one for free and what's the cost of one of this this is five dollars in the u.s five dollars um, no, 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 five dollars to store but seven some stores will sell it for seven dollars some stores sell it for eight dollars we don't control the price that the store want to mark up their product. All we do is we try to manufacture the product. We try to market it to you and show you the usefulness of it and tell you where to get it. Which will, um, some stores will sell it at a different price because they have their own expenses. Yes. No two stores have the same experience uh, 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 prices because I know this from experience. So, we have, so come to Legend Cookhouse, what price would I pay for this? For the entire month of November or October, because we are in October. October, now. right. For the entire month of October, you buy one, you get one free. Come to Legend Cookhouse, though. Come to Legend Cookhouse. Yeah, I can't control what other stores do, but we have our restaurant there at Legend Cookhouse, and we right. definitely would have that power to do it for you. Beautiful. Right? Good. So there you got it guys. Just because it's too cool, you're getting one bottle of uh, Legend Cookhouse special sauce. So guys, our chow mein is, is, is on fire. We got we, we think cut up here ready. We onion, bora, shallow celery, purple onion, carrot, and we got we string beans mixed with some corn and um, carrot also. And then we got we kettle corn here also. We waiting for try out this, this sauce today, boy.
pepper sauce also. So we're not using Chinese sauce today. So we're preheating the canary here. We're gonna start bringing our stuff here now. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the diced onions and the and, and these other stuff. You wanna lean your board? Close uh, up, lean your board. That's right. I, I don't wanna I don't want you to get burned too. Right, so we got our onions uh, in. And now we're gonna put our large vegetables. Oh, so you're gonna put your other onion in. Uh -huh. In fact, I'm gonna put everything except for the garnish. Um, All right, put everything in. Yeah. Right? Mm, nothing like the good smell of fresh vegetable in aisle. Mm. I love it. So this is what it would turn out to be. And this would stay here as the garnish. Mmm, smell good. Smell it? Oh, you're not going to win it. Win next. Win side. We're coming out with a smell of vision. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of garlic inside. A little garlic? Yeah, I'll we'll just put it there to, to create a nice aroma. Mmm, smells good. I'll tell you one thing. I like it like this. So now I'm going to just bring chow in. Not too much, just a little. Okay. 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 Come on. Oh, he's gonna come in. Okay. So we're gonna just put the chow mein in at this stage. Because uh -huh. remember, we wanted the, the, the vegetables to look nice and green. Um, and cooked also. Uh, yeah, and so this is like really hot heat, right? So you know it's gonna cook. I mean, no sauce, no sauce. Just throw this in. Yeah, just throw this in. Wow, look at the texture. Beautiful. Mm. They did a good job on the chow mein. So, so you see guys, it's not sticky. Yeah. That is what we want from our chow mein. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to mix this up like you would. Right? Um, we don't have the ideal spoon, but we're going to... For this purpose, what we're trying to do is we're trying to heat the chow mein up for a little bit. And at this stage, what I would do at the restaurant, I will drop some black pepper inside. But I don't think we prep for that, but we can add that on later on. Doesn't matter, right? So now we're gonna apply the magic onto this thing. So I'm gonna give her the opportunity to just pour this thing inside. And here you go. Let's see, let's see guys, let's see what happens. Let's see the magic happen. Let's, throw, let's pour this thing. Remember, we pour it to get the right color, right? Good. So now we're gonna stir it up a little bit and we're gonna just make sure to see that the color is going to come out the right way, right? Now, the, the purpose of me doing this is that I don't want to overpower the food, so I put a little bit of time. And remember, some people like their chow mein like this, right? So now we are going to pour some more to see how much we want, right? So I'm looking at the chow mein and I'm thinking like, yeah, this is the right color, you know? And I know by me achieving this color, now, achieving this color is definitely gonna bring everything together, you know? There, there you go, my friend, your beautiful black pepper is just all right. So we're gonna just have a little bit of black pepper in there just to spike their aroma up a little bit and just like that we can switch off the power it's all done oh, so now me, just like that just like that hold on hold on hold on Jeez. now we're done we're done we're gonna take our chowman off and he's gonna garnish it and add whatever else needed to be added guys from the canary to my mouth i'm gonna try it do we require anything? I saw you had some garnish. We have some um, Yeah, so when we plate it, that's when we're going to put the garnish. When we plate it. We don't want to plate it. All right. Cool. Like waste so the garnish. We're going to do a from, from the pot to your mouth style here right now. So we, my my goal here is to acquire the taste of the sauce. I'm going to try my best. See what goes. It's good. 
It's excellent, guys. Mm. Really good stuff. I like it. I yeah. like it. Just I'm not gonna soap. recommend it as yet, but I'm gonna have my full plate. <laughs> I'm gonna go. sit and sober, and I'm gonna say, hey, listen, this is the thing we're looking for, or this is not the thing we're looking for. Let me see this. This is the bad boy. So we're gonna complement it with a little bit of the pepper. His legend, um, Coke's pepper, and we'll we'll have a taste and see what it goes. But as it is, as it is. It is very good. Two packs of chow mein. Two packs of chow mein and it is like what? Less than a quarter has been used here? Not yeah, even less than a quarter. Like so less than one eight in that sense. It's good. It's very good guys. We're gonna, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have a, a proper taste this now. Yeah. Do you have paper? Where's the paper sauce guys? See this is how the food looking. And you yeah, gotta get e rice. <laughs> you have to get rice. Yes, you know I have to eat my chowder with rice. Before we get any further, I would like to thank Legend Cookhouse for coming over today. And he's living up to his name and reputation, Cookhouse. And he's very legendary at it, alright? So I want to thank you my friend for coming over today. The, the privilege of mine having you guys over. We're so happy to come and be able to demonstrate our food to you and you are so accommodating and uh, we couldn't uh, get a better hospitality than this here, and we're so happy to be here. Thanks. Guys, final finished product. Taste this. Of course, you know you buy gaga little plain rice. Uh, we're complementing it with some uh, potato uh, salad. I have a, a, a judge here also. She's going to adjudicate and tell me what she think about it. Uncle Cook Shaman today. And this is not our chowmin. You gotta tell me on a serious if you like it or not, right? Try you it. gotta get some of the this pepper. This is the preferred condiment to use, which is a pepper sauce that a lot of people use for this type of food. So I'm gonna put a little bit. He's gonna adjust the heat based on what she, he can tolerate. But um, as I open the bottle, you can just smell the aroma that is coming out of it. You know. Nice. Yeah. So that is the pepper sauce we use to. Good accompany all these food that we cook there at the leisure and to it is good uh, so we're gonna dig in guys right yeah let's see so a lot of pox season wasn't used no chinese sauce wasn't used you know so let's go again Just one sauce it's very good again that's not only that it's very good it makes life easier you don't have a whole run around picking up pox season picking up this picking up that all is in one bottle. I like it. I save it. a lot of shelf space. Yeah, plus it save a lot of shelf space. Yeah. Are you look so, guys, look at this. I'm so happy that you know you I could have come here and demonstrate and and you objectively could taste it and tell us exactly how you feel. Um, this is the actual product. We cook it right here in spot and we are having two cool and two cool kid enjoying <laughs> this nice Chow mein. How do you like it there, kiddo? Not joke, guys. It's excellent. Look at it. If she can eat it, anybody else can eat yeah, it. So. And, and she's not a fan of chow mein and, and veggie chow mein especially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So guys, it's a plus. It's a big win here. Everybody's a winner right now because it's a really, really amazing product. I do recommend it. Try it. If you don't like it, don't try it back. Simple as that. If you think I'm lying, you try this cheap as he was telling me, $5 at his store. If you don't like it, you don't buy it back. It's simple as that. But you're not gonna uh, not five dollars, nice. so five dollars to the store. It's about seven dollars. Seven dollars in the other stores, and uh, the value is that this much had cooked two packs of chow mein. So I believe this could have cooked about ten packs. Of chow mein. Right, mm -hmm. roughly ten packs. Yeah. Try it. Yeah. If you don't like it, you don't use it back. But I'm sure you're gonna be going back for this product. So in conclusion, guys, thank Legend Cookhouse for coming out today, demonstrating their beautiful uh, cooking skills. Uh, demonstrating and using their excellent product. I'm a fan of it now. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna be using it as much as I can. And I want to thank you guys for coming. And I appreciate uh, the moment spent. We're gonna cherish this for a very long time. And it's peace out from this end, guys. We're gonna finish up this. And it's Buddha from this end. Join us for another episode of Little Guyana by Two Cool and Family, guys. All right? What is my Hey, guys.